Signs and Symptoms of Vitamin E Deficiency Vitamin E is a pretty interesting vitamin. It's a fat-soluble vitamin that is part of the antioxidant family and plays an important role in protecting fats from oxidation. This helps prevent damage to cell membranes and the liver, as well as other tissues. The recommended dietary allowance for vitamin E for adults 19 years and older is 15 milligrams per day. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding are recommended to consume 19 milligrams of vitamin E per day. Vitamin E deficiency is rare because it occurs only when your body doesn't get enough fat or calories from food for normal growth and development. The deficiency can also occur if you have an intestinal disorder, such as cystic fibrosis, that prevents absorption of fat from food. It may also occur if you are fed intravenously without fats added to your diet. Vitamin E is important for normal growth and development for the immune system and for preventing blood clots. It may help protect against heart disease, some cancers, and cataracts. Vitamin E is a powerhouse nutrient that actually has eight forms, but alpha tocopherol is the most studied and the one most relevant to heart health. Vitamin E deficiency can lead to serious problems, including neurological disorders and muscle weakness. Older adults generally need more vitamin E than younger people because their bodies can't absorb the nutrient well. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about the seven signs and symptoms of vitamin E deficiency. Number one, nerve and muscle damage. Vitamin E is important for nerves in the brain and spinal cord. A lack of this vitamin can cause problems such as numbness or tingling in hands or feet and muscle weakness. In severe cases, nerve damage may lead to paralysis or loss of feeling in hands or feet, which is known as peripheral neuropathy. A lack of vitamin E causes nerve damage because it helps the body form myelin, which covers nerve fibers and serves as insulation for nerves. Without this insulation, the nerve impulses cannot travel properly and the nerves become damaged over time. Nerves are responsible for transmitting signals from one part of the body to another, and when they don't work properly, you will experience pain or numbness in the affected areas. For example, if you don't have enough vitamin E in your system, your arms may feel numb or tingly after being out in cold weather for too long. Vitamin E deficiency is more common among people who have diabetes or chronic kidney disease. It's also more likely to occur if you have had gastric bypass surgery or other types of weight loss surgery. Another common symptom of vitamin E deficiency is muscle pain or weakness that gets worse when you exercise or are stressed out. You may also feel tired and weak all the time. You might also have trouble thinking clearly because your brain needs oxygen-rich blood to work properly. Number two, vision problems. Vitamin E deficiency can cause a wide range of vision problems, including blurred distance vision and nearsightedness. If you have blurred distance vision with or without eye pain, you may be deficient in vitamin E. Your doctor should test your vitamin levels to determine whether this is the case or not. Nearsightedness, otherwise known as myopia, occurs when light enters your eye and focuses before it reaches your retina. This causes straight lines to appear curved because they're out of focus. People who are myopic may need thick glasses or contacts to correct their vision. Another sign or symptom of vitamin E deficiency can include more severe vision deterioration, pigmentation, or even blurry vision. Those who suffer from age-related macular degeneration or cataracts can see benefits from vitamin E supplementation or a dietary shift. A recent study found that people who take supplements containing gamma tocopherol, which is a form of vitamin E, had less nearsightedness than those who took placebo pills for six months. Number three, weakened immune system. Vitamin E deficiency can cause a variety of health problems, including a weakened immune system. A strong immune system helps protect the body against infections and disease. If you don't get enough vitamin E through your diet, you could develop a condition called atropic gastritis. This disease makes it difficult for your stomach to produce enough acid, which kills bacteria that cause infections. If you have atropic gastritis, you're more likely to get sick from infections such as pneumonia or urinary tract infections. You might also have malabsorption problems that affect how your body absorbs nutrients from food. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next symptom, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. 
Number four, coordination issues. Our Purkinje neurons help with hand-eye and walking coordination. These neurons rely on vitamin E to help them function. If there isn't enough vitamin E present for neurons to use, you may experience difficulty walking or lack of coordination. In some cases, vitamin E deficiency can cause a condition known as ataxia. Ataxia is a group of neurological conditions that affect balance, muscle coordination, and speech. There are many different types of ataxia, so the symptoms differ depending on the type of ataxia you have. Some people experience only mild symptoms such as weakness or clumsiness in one limb. Other people may have more severe problems with their balance or walking. Ataxia symptoms can vary widely from person to person. The severity of symptoms also varies depending on which part of the nervous system is affected by the ataxia condition. Number five, numbness or tingling. Vitamin E deficiency can cause numbness or tingling in the hands and feet. This condition is called peripheral neuropathy or nerve damage outside the spinal cord and brain. Peripheral neuropathy can be caused by a number of conditions, including alcoholism, diabetes, and vitamin B12 or vitamin E deficiency. In addition to numbness or tingling, other symptoms of peripheral neuropathy include muscle weakness, difficulty walking, loss of balance, and difficulty swallowing. A diet low in fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and seeds can lead to vitamin E deficiency. Other foods that are good sources of vitamin E include sunflower seeds, almonds, hazelnuts, and spinach. You should also avoid eating large amounts of cooking oils that have been heated too much. This is because they degrade easily into trans fats, which block absorption of vitamins, including vitamin E. If you consume alcohol excessively or take certain medications, such as acetaminophen or anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen, you may need more than the recommended daily dosage of vitamin E to prevent deficiencies from developing. Number six, worsened skin and hair health. Vitamin E deficiency may cause skin problems such as redness, scaling, and itching. These symptoms may occur on any part of the body but are most common on the face, neck, and arms. Vitamin E deficiency can also lead to a number of different health conditions. For example, it can cause conditions known as seborrheic dermatitis and alopecia areata. Both of these conditions are serious problems that require immediate medical treatment if left untreated. Seborrheic dermatitis causes flaky scales on the scalp and face, while alopecia areata causes hair loss on parts of the body like the scalp or eyebrows. Number seven, infertility. Vitamin E deficiency can cause problems for your fertility if you're trying to get pregnant. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps protect the male reproductive cells from damage. It also improves motility, which are both important factors in conception. According to the American Pregnancy Association, having low levels of vitamin E during pregnancy may lead to miscarriage or premature birth. The organization also states that low levels of the nutrient may be associated with an increased risk for neural tube defects like spina bifida. Vitamin E deficiency can also cause infertility in women because it affects their ability to get pregnant and carry a pregnancy to term. In addition, it can increase the risk for other complications during pregnancy, such as preeclampsia and gestational diabetes mellitus. If you have low levels of vitamin E in your body and are trying to conceive, taking supplements may help increase your chances of getting pregnant. But if you don't respond to supplementation, it may be time for a more thorough evaluation by a doctor who specializes in reproductive medicine. Causes of vitamin E deficiency. Vitamin E deficiency is rare in healthy individuals, but can occur in people or long-term fasting diets or who have digestive disorders like celiac disease or Crohn's disease. Vitamin E deficiency can also be caused by smoking, alcoholism, or excessive exposure to sunlight. Some people may require vitamin supplements if they have difficulty absorbing this vitamin due to illness, surgery, or certain medical conditions. In some rare cases, inadequate absorption of vitamin E can be caused by oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy with estrogen. Both can interfere with your body's ability to absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin E. This problem is more common in women past menopause who take oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy. Foods with high vitamin E content. 
Almonds and hazelnuts have high levels of vitamin E per ounce. Peanuts also contain a decent amount of this vitamin, as do walnuts and cashews. Sunflower seeds, however, have more than twice as much vitamin E as almonds or walnuts, while sesame seeds have even more than sunflower seeds. Pumpkin seeds have slightly less than sunflower seeds in terms of their vitamin E content per ounce, but they're still very high in this nutrient when compared to other foods. Flaxseed also has about half as much as pumpkin seeds for each ounce of it consumed. Vitamin E can also be found in vegetable oils, such as corn, safflower, and sunflower oil. In addition to these sources of vitamin E, there are other foods that have been proven effective at increasing levels of this antioxidant in the body. It also occurs naturally in eggs, meat, and fish. Vitamin E deficiency is a serious problem that can have an impact on your physical health, emotional well-being, and more. It's often linked with malnutrition and a poor diet, but anyone who's consuming an unbalanced diet can suffer from a vitamin E deficiency. While the essential benefits of this nutrient are undeniable, it's important to note that you can still get vitamin E from healthy foods like nuts and seeds. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the signs and symptoms of vitamin E deficiency so you can take action before this condition has a negative effect on your life. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.